Hey, thanks for stopping by the channel. Um, I have some encouraging news, but a challenge as well for you if you're watching this. Um, as you know, um, I became aware on August 2nd of a situation in Sherburne County, Minnesota, at a Sherburne County board meeting, wherein um, one lady named Terry mentioned the name of a school board or excuse me, a county board member mentioned that person's name and was immediately uh, called out of order and subsequently removed from the room. I immediately brought attention to this situation and aired a 32 second clip of that interaction showing her being removed from the room. It's garnered almost 3,000 views and we have subsequently seen people reach out to the Sherburne County Board, to the Sherburne County Sheriff's Office, and request uh, immediate attention to the situation. And we have affected change. And when I say we, it's not me. It is the people of Sherburne County and all of the viewers out there who have reached out and uh, subsequently demanded, and rightly so, that apologies be made. So we have affected change in Sherburne County because today, and I'm going to show it, um, the County Administrator Bruce Messold uh, apologized to Terry for that interaction. And so I am going to, I'm going to play his apology now and the follow on comments from the board. Madam Chair, members of the commission, uh, if the board will indulge me for a second, I do want to start with an announcement. Uh, and I think, Terry, I, I saw you. There you are. Thank you. Uh, I spoke with uh, Ms. Dickinson, and I wanted uh, to express to her publicly today what I expressed to her last week, which is I want to offer an apology for how uh, Terry was treated at the last county board meeting on August 2nd. Um, I reviewed the meeting, uh, as I think uh, several of us have, and I believe I was wrong in calling Terry out of order. Uh, and also asking that she be removed from the meeting. Upon reflection, it is my opinion that uh, Ms. Dickinson's comments or, and actions uh, did not rise to the level of disruptive behavior that would have warranted uh, the response that she received. Uh, I missed the bar on that as I was kind of serving as the parliamentarian, uh, and I am sorry for that. I plan on uh, recommending that the county board handle public comment differently from here on, that we focus on the time limit and affording equal opportunity for everyone to speak, which is set by the county board's open uh, forum policy. Uh, I will also be asking for the county board's permission to begin a staff review of our current policies and procedures, and also to seek other educational and training opportunities that will help us better reflect the spirit of being welcoming and of valuing public uh, comment, even when we may not agree with what is said. Uh, I would also like to apologize to the county board of commissioners uh, as well as to our public safety personnel uh, for placing all of you in such an awkward position at the last board meeting due to the decisions and the actions that I took. Uh, as a public servant uh, beholden to the citizens and the elected officials of Sherburne County, uh, I should have done better. I want to thank you for allowing me to serve and also for help helping to hold me accountable for my actions. Madam Chair? Yes. I'd just like to follow up briefly on Bruce's comments. Uh, I've been I've been on this board for 20 years and things have changed and we don't always get it right. And I think that uh, Bruce has apologized to the board, but I, I, I think the board owes the public an apology. We got it wrong last meeting. We absolutely got it wrong. We have to accept responsibility for that. And I think it, it, it needs to be noted. You need to know that. I, I believe that. I, I'm sure my counterparts believe it as well. So thank you. Yes, and, and to add to that, Commissioner Schmeeling's comments that, to the general public, when you guys comment or come in here and, and spend your time with us, just realize we'll make mistakes. And, and kind of the, the kicker of being up here and in this position is, is realizing when you get stuff a little bit wrong and trying to find a way to fix it. So just uh, try your best to give us a little time to learn as things change and shift and uh, we'll do our best. 
Yes, and to add to the comments too, we need to hear from everybody. We need to hear the voices of our people and who we represent. So. I concur with all the comments from the board. I was ga I gathered uh, Friday night with about 10 uh, other commissioners from across the state and we discussed in robo robust, earnest fashion, public comment parts of board meetings and a couple of them don't have it. So I found that interesting. So it was interesting to talk to them and I appreciate that we in Sherburne County do offer that option for our citizens and uh, hope to review our policies so we make sure that we are addressing um, and handling it appropriately. But I found the conversation Friday night very interesting. All across the state, it's done differently in every county. And, um, but we do appreciate public comment here and I agree with the apologies um, from our board and our administrator. Okay, and I would want to just concur with that. So thank you very much. Okay, so should we go on to open forum? We'd like to read the criteria first. Can we do that again? The purpose of the open forum section of the county board meeting is to allow public input and or information to be presented to the board that does not require action by the board. It is requested that speakers refrain from personal attacks of any kind against another person, commissioner, or employee. It is requested that speakers refrain from campaign type presentations. The time limit is three minutes per speaker with a maximum of five speakers per open forum. The time limit may be shortened or extended at the discretion of the board chair. Discussions that require additional time beyond the original 15 minutes will be recessed and continued following the conclusion of the regular board meeting uh, agenda items. It is requested that all input or information be addressed to the County Com Board of Commissioners and not to members of the audience. Speaker handouts are public information. The county may make copies of such handouts for the public if needed, and the county board chair will ensure that the open forum policy is followed. I want to address, and, and I want to say this, first of all, Bruce, I, I commend you for apologizing. I could speculate about how that apology came about. I could speculate about why you're apologizing. I could, I, it, we, we could hack this apart. We really could, it, it, it would do no good in, in that regard. You did the right thing in apologizing to Terry personally and publicly here and to the public. I want to uh, I, I want to tell Felix that I appreciate what he said. I, I, I believe Felix that um, Mr. Schmeezing, uh, you owe a very particular apology for your smart aleck comment, not just this broad apology, but the, the smart aleck comment that you made where you said um, you got your shot or you took your shot or whatever it was. Uh, Mr. Dolan, Tim, once again, I appreciate you backing up all the apologies. I really do. Um, it, this idea that somehow you're, you're in a position where you have the, you, we need to grant you this license to make these mistakes. That's to me though, however, Tim, uh, it, it, that's an untenable position. You are a, a public servant. You are there as a constitutional office holder. You swear an oath to keep and uphold the constitution of both the United States and of the state of Minnesota. The equal protection of cla clause requires that you grant, if you will, far more leniency to people who you are dis who are disagreeing with you than you are granted as a as a person who is is sworn to uphold people's First Amendment rights, first First Amendment liberties. Um, Lisa Fob, vice vice chair. Uh, I don't care what other counties do and, and your excitement 
in hearing other counties ways of doing things and your excitement in the idea of rehashing what you're going to do concerns me some to be honest with you because i think you having sat down with these other people and had this very intense conversation about what a, a, a public forum looks like may not end with Sherburne County having a public forum when this is done. Ms. Danielowski, your comment was insufficient. At the end of Terry being removed, you were laughing. You were laughing, madam. We need to hear the voices of our people. We need to hear from everybody. That is insufficient. You need to apologize publicly. Bruce Messelt falling on his sword to protect and shield the county board is ridiculous. Rianne Danielowski, you laughed, clearly laughed. Last and certainly not least, and, and I cannot say beyond any reasonable doubt, and we're going to show here in just a minute. Uh, Barbara Brandt, you were the chair. You had a duty. A duty to intervene and prevent your subservient, Bruce Messalt from making the strategic error that he made, from making the constitutional error that he made. You had a duty. And your entire scope of comment was, I concur. And I would want to just concur with that. So thank you very much. Okay. She just wants to concur with that. Um, you just... You just want to concur. Madam, it was either you or Ms. Fobb who started the ball rolling, who made the complaint that, that Terry was in violation. It was on either yours or Lisa's. Barbara, it was on you or it was on Lisa to to not say that, to recognize that your, your personal investment was too deep. And, and you interjected and, 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 and one of you spoke up and said, she's in violation. Now we don't, I don't know for sure who it was because I couldn't see it because a camera was on Terry, but it's clearly heard in the background and we're gonna play it. It's clearly heard in the background. And all we get is, I concur with what was said. No. Barbara, like I said to Rayanne, you need to very vocally, very publicly, very personally apologize to Terry. You need to publicly apologize to the people who are your masters, Barbara. The people of Sherburne County are your masters. They are your government. You are a public servant. Bruce Messalt did the right thing and he fell on his sword to shield you, Barbara. And when I say he did the right thing, he did the right thing by apologizing because he was wrong. And I hope that it was a genuine apology and from the sounds of it, it was. And I do hope that there are steps taken going forward. But Barbara, you are the first person, and Lisa, you might be the second. And Rayanne, definitely. You all need to sit down and study the Constitution and study case law when it comes to um, redress of grievances and dissenting opinions to government decision. We are now going to watch if people don't believe me, we're going to watch and listen as Terry is silenced. 
but we're going to listen to where it comes from because it's not Bruce Messalt that starts the ball rolling. Bruce, you may have been the parliamentarian, which, by the way, is just bad form. It should have been the chair. The chair should be managing that meeting. I would appreciate clarification, please. During the recess of the April 19th board meeting, I pressed Commissioner Danielowski to stop dancing around the issue and support a public hearing, to which she rendered an obscure but positive response to a public hearing. She's Even though... You hear that? She's violating. We're going to listen to that again. During the recess of the April 19th board meeting, I pressed Commissioner Danielowski to stop dancing around the issue and support a public hearing, to which she rendered an obscure but positive response to a public hearing. She's Even though... She's violating. You folks hear that? She's violating. Now, I'm de I, I've debated if we need to continue to play this out, but I think we've all seen the video enough and if you haven't you can go and watch the video of terry being removed numerous times it, they're there I'm, I'm not gonna hash this to death anymore um and by say hash hash it to death i don't mean literally dying but <sighs> barbara the next meeting you need to very publicly apologize and acknowledge your lack of apology because your lack of apology and simply saying that I concur was, was asinine. You don't deserve to be chair. You should immediately step down from your position as chair. Lisa, you don't deserve to be vice chair. You should immediately step down from that position as well. I am disgusted at Barbara in particular. So even if Barbara, you weren't the one saying that she violated, you had a duty to tell the other person, no, stop, stop. You had a duty. You had a duty. You should know this. I don't care how long you've been a county commissioner. You've also been a chair now since January. You need to know these things. You need to read the Constitution, madam. I guarantee you in a debate on the Constitution, I would rip you to shreds. Madam, you don't know your place. You are out of line. And your failure to actually apologize for your failure is, is tantamount to disqualification to being in the position that you're in. The people of Sherburne County should be demanding your removal. Demanding it vocally at every meeting from this point forward, whether you apologize or not. And now I want to say once again to the Chief Deputy, as Chief Deputy Duran, thank you very much for intervening in that situation on August 2nd and, and ensuring that Terry was allowed back in. Sheriff Brott, a couple of things need to happen with you. I have heard from many people that you are a stand-up sheriff, that you are a sheriff that honors the Constitution, and that you will stand by your duty to the, to the people of Sherburne County and the people of Minnesota in particular, and that you will stand on your oath to the Constitution of the United States, and that you will stand on your oath to the Constitution of the state of Minnesota. Sheriff Brott, you need to, you need to order the captain who removed Terry to not only apologize to Terry publicly and privately, but to do so in a board meeting. He needs to do that, but it needs to, it needs to precede Sheriff brought your public apology. It, it's a, I, I'm telling you this, it needs to be, the people needed to demand that of you. Sheriff Brott, not because I don't respect you, but because I respect people's opinion of you, and I believe that you can set the tone going forward for Sherburne County and for the Sherburne County Sheriff's Office and for all of your deputies and all your captains and all your sergeants and all your chief deputies. You can set the tone. 
sheriff brought. You can set the tone, sir. You can walk in and say that you apologize because under your watch, whether you were there or not, one of your subordinates failed to do their duty, which was to stand up and tell Bruce Messel and Barbara, no, I will not do this. And you need to say this publicly, sir. You need to apologize to Terry publicly. You need to apologize to the people of Sherburne County publicly. You do not need to apologize to the board. The board does not need your apology, just like the board didn't need Bruce's apology. The board should be apologizing to Bruce. Barbara in particular should be apologizing to Bruce. Sheriff Brott, I am calling on you to be a man of integrity and at the next county commission meeting to approach the mic and publicly apologize for failing to instruct your staff on how to honor their oaths to the Constitution of the state of Minnesota and the Constitution of the United States Republic and to the people of Sherburne County. Set the standard, not only for your staff, but for the entire state of Minnesota, sir. I'm pleading with you to remind the county board that you work for we the people. Remind the county board that your staff will never again, under any circumstances short of actual violence taking place, will they ever intervene in the people seeking a redress of grievances no matter what kind of language is used. We are all, all of us who have ever took, taken the oath, whoever swore the oath to the Constitution, to keep and defend the Constitution, to keep and defend the Republic from enemies, both foreign and domestic, so help me God, should be free speech absolutist. There's no hate speech. There is no politically incorrect speech. There is just speech. And words do not hurt. Barbara, short of a very public apology, your time on the Sherburne County Board should be limited to the next meeting where you should resign. to all of the other board members. Thank you for those of you that actually apologized and to those that simply said, well, I concur or the people need to be heard. You're part of the problem. I cannot say enough positive about you, Chief Deputy Duran. To the captain whose name I still do not know, sir, you failed. You failed. And I have it on good authority that you whispered in Terry's ear I don't want to do this, but I'm just doing my job. Or I don't want to do this, but I have to. No, sir, you don't. Captain, you do not need to do that ever again. And in fact, the next time something like that ever arises in your presence, you should stand as a shield in front of the citizen to protect them from the tyrannical rule of a board member or a chair like Barbara. And Sheriff Broad, I cannot say it again. And I can't say it enough. I cannot say it enough. Sir, I'm pleading with you to very publicly go to the next board meeting and apologize for not ensuring that your staff knew how to handle this ahead of time and set the standard for every law enforcement organization in the state of Minnesota while there's still time to rescue it from the disparaging and rightly distrusting view that many patriots, God-fearing, republic-loving Americans are taking towards law enforcement. Get ahead of it. Change the course. Change the course, Sheriff Broad. I'm pleading with you. You have, from, from everything I've heard, you have the spine to do this, to make a difference. So please do. 
Until next time, my friends, fight for your liberties, they are yours. Fight for your freedoms, they are yours. And Six Semper, Tyrannus.